Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 63rd tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we're going to learn how we can create a table in MySQL using PHP. So it's going to be interesting and uh, as you can see I have a script file opened up here in my text editor notepad++ and uh, this file is called create underscore table dot php and uh, in this file I have uh, all my variables initialized at the top so you know uh, the host name is localhost, the username is admin, the password for the database is student pass and the name of the database is student. So we're still going to work with the student database and we're going to create a table called sports in this uh, database. So before we do anything else, let me first uh, open up, you know, this database in uh, PHP my admin and show you all the tables this uh, database has. So I'll type in localhost, scroll down and uh, pick uh, PHP my admin here. And uh, when I do that, I see all my databases here. And uh, when I click on this expand button for the student database, I see that uh, this database has uh, two tables. It has the courses table and it has the student underscore info table. And uh, we're going to add another table to this database. And uh, we're going to do that using PHP. So, you know, this is the code that we're going to execute. And uh, obviously, we can only create a table in uh, MySQL through SQL, right? So it's not that we're going to use PHP to do something fancy, you know, we're just going to use uh, PHP to help us execute an SQL query. And uh, it's the query that matters. So you know, let's just get to this part. On line number 18, uh, I have the SQL variable initialized. And again, you know, this is a slightly lengthy query. So I didn't put all of it on one line. I've split it on multiple lines. So, you know, it starts this way, create table sports. So you first mention the keywords create and table, and then you sp uh, specify the name of the table that you want to create, which is sports. And then within parentheses, you have to mention all the field names, you know, the data types of the fields, and also special characteristics for the fields you know, in case you want some field to be the primary key for the table, or if you want, you know, the, uh, the field to take in uh, a new value on each line, which is one more than the value that the previous line or the previous record holds, then you also apply the auto underscore increment filter on the field. So, you know, I have discussed all of this in my course on SQL. So in case you have any doubts regarding this SQL query, then I would suggest that you can, you know, watch uh, some of my tutorials or you can, you know, just Google create table query uh, and, uh, you know, you can read about it. So this is really simple, trust me. And uh, then, you know, the rest of the query goes this way. So I am going to have a field called ID in this uh, table and uh, it's going to be of integer type and it's also going to be the primary key for the table. And I want this uh, field to, you know, have a new value uh, in each record and uh, I want the value to be sort of incremented by one. And uh, then it's also going to have a name field, uh, which is going to be of varchar type and uh, the maximum number of characters that this field can hold is 30. And uh, then there's going to be another uh, field called strength and uh, this is going to be of integer type and this is, you know, basically to hold uh, the number of students who are going to play the sport, right? And uh, then I have uh, used the MySQLI underscore query function to execute this uh, SQL code and uh, the result is going to be stored in the variable RES. And again, I have an if statement here which is going to check whether this uh, query was executed successfully or not, we, whether we got something in the result variable or not. And uh, if we didn't get anything, then we're going to execute the die function here which is just going to display the message query failed. Else, we are going to show the message table created successfully and the uh, rest of the script, you know, is uh, the same. I have uh, the MySQLI underscore close function here to close uh, the connection. You know, that's it. So let me go to my browser and execute the script. So the name of the script is create underscore table dot PHP. And when I press uh, the enter key, I see table created successfully. So this is the message that I get. And over here, if I would refresh, I would see that the student underscore info table is also now listed under the student database. And if I would try to execute this query again, then I would get an error. And the reason for this is that, 
you know, there is already a table of the name student underscore info in the student database. So, you know, if you would try to create another table of the same name, then you would get an error. And uh, since we had the die function there, the execution of the script stopped and uh, we just got the message that's there within double quotes within the parentheses, uh, you know, as an argument to the die function. So we just got query failed and you can, you know, uh, also switch on the MySQL errors, you know, you could uh, see the error number or you could also, you know, see the error, the entire error if you wanted to. But, uh, you know, this looks neater, so that's why I have it this way. So I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial. I'm going to see you in the next video in which we'll discuss uh, something interesting for sure again. And uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you soon. Till then, take care.